welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. Now, folks, if you have anything to say about the change of background, while well, I'm at the beach. That's also why I'm running behind, because the Outer Banks location does not open till 10 a.m. Uh, so anyways, we're going to jump right into this. Keep it brief. Keep it short. Uh, the mystery cookie, unfortunately, was Snickerdoodle, which is my least favorite crumble cookie. It's just so dry, bland, and emotionless. So why would I... You know, why would I doom y'all with adding that into the lineup? Also, I really want to uh, just quickly apologize. I am behind on the giveaway. Um, I wanted to hold off, give people a chance throughout the week, and then, you know, tally it, tally it all up. So far, all I've done, I didn't have a piece of paper. All I had it was a pencil. So I took a food line bag, and I've got 512 entries on it from Facebook alone. Now, the other entries didn't have so many comments, so we'll, we, we should breeze through those and get it done by next week. So again, stay tuned. Uh, that is coming. Someone's going to get a box. I just wanted to be fair to everybody. I wanted to make this very random and give every single person that you know entered a chance. So again, don't be mad at me. I want to be fair. So, um, But yeah, very intrigued by this lineup. They're bringing cookie butter back. Uh, cookie butter ice cream bag. I was not the hugest fan. I thought it was solid, but the base is a bit thick, and I thought it was dry. So we'll see. It's still thick. I, I just want more cookie butter ice cream icing. So, you know, that's my issue with that. And then my issue with berry cobbler is, uh, triple berry cobbler, is cream cheese. I always have had an issue when I just don't feel like cream cheese belongs. And for this cookie, if I'm eating a cobbler, Sure, I'll get ice cream. That makes sense, right? So that was like whipped icing or buttercream. But then you put, I, I, I've never eaten a cobbler, like a peach cobbler, blueberry cobbler, any cobbler where cream cheese was involved. So it kind of bothers me that they use cream cheese and I can taste, I, I always, most of the time I can taste that cream cheese stand out and it just bothers me. But it's still, I, I would say it's still a solid cookie. Of course, we're going to reevaluate everything. I've tried all these cookies. And we're going to give you a fair review here. Um, confetti cake, I feel like it's back too soon. I could probably say the same for peanut butter brownie. They did change peanut butter brownie, though. Uh, it's got real peanut butter on top instead of peanut butter chips. I wish they would have left it because I really like the different in texture um, that was on top. It was more melty than Buckeye brownie. I feel like this is too close to Buckeye Brownie. We'll have to see. Again, we're here to do a review. We're here to try it. So I'm sorry about rambling on. I just wanted to kind of talk to y'all. Uh, I did not think that was going to be an issue. All right. Just wanted to talk to y'all before I got into this. So yeah, please subscribe, like, and comment on the video. And uh, giveaway is technically over. So I mean, Please don't go comment on the old video. Please honor that, um, you know, and I'm honoring every entry. You know, I can't check to make sure that y'all honor the fact that I wanted y'all to subscribe or like or you know, subscribe or follow. But if you commented, I'm going to honor that as long as you don't do it today or beyond. So anyways, that's how it is. Giveaway is over, but I got to get it straight. Um, where do we start? I'm going to start with cookie butter ice cream because a lot of people haven't tried this one. Um... It's been about a year, my, my review says 11 months, it was my 71st review, uh, that's about 30 something reviews ago, but yeah, I don't have my cookie cutter today, as you can see, uh, you know, sometimes I forget things when I get to the beach. One thing I always forget is a towel, I don't, I'm just too lazy, and we don't have a lot of towels at home, so it looks nice and gooey on the inside, I'm very intrigued, um, I thought this cookie was supposed to be chill, but it doesn't seem chilled. And that might be just because I went first thing in the morning. But yeah. Mmm. Now that's hitting the spot. That's not dry. So. I don't know if this cookie is supposed to be chilled. But if it is. Warm it up folks. Warm it up. Because that is 100% better. Mmm. That's the best cookie butter cookie they have. That brown sugar base, then with, you know, the, the speculose cookie. Mm. Buttery, 
brown sugary. I'm gonna give that a 10. That is absolutely amazing. That is delicious. So I was dogging this cookie before giving it a second chance, and here we are. So oatmeal base, uh, you got a triple berry jam and cream cheese on this one. These cookies are not hot. I was hoping they'd be hot. You know, you get there first thing in the morning. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Let me try and get the best kind of variety out of this one. Man, I'm cutting little pieces. This one looks like it could be gooey. I think it is. Let's go ahead and try it. I love the triple berry puree. That is delicious. What do I not love about this? The cream cheese. I just don't like its presence. I think the cinnamon, the puree, and the oatmeal, they all come together so well. But the cream cheese, I just, I, I like cream cheese, but I don't like it with certain things. And it does not make sense to me. And I know a lot of people, you know, they love the thought of cream cheese on this cookie. Sure, you enjoy that. That's fine. It's still solid. It's still delicious. But I'm going to give it an eight, and I don't remember what I gave it last time. I probably gave it a seven, seven and a half. But that parade drives it, you know, to a point where it's really good. But if you take the cream cheese, give it a whipped ice, and get it a buttercream, that cookie butter, buttercream icing was not too rich. It was not too sweet. If you give it that kind of base icing to mix with cinnamon and the oatmeal and the triple berry, I think this cookie could be a 10 also. But for me, cream cheese just becomes a fatigue that just bothers my, my taste buds sometimes. Like confetti cake, it's meant to be there. It's a simple cookie. I would probably always give it a seven, seven and a half. But again, I, I know what to expect with that one. This one's gonna be intriguing. So eight for that one. This one's gonna be very intriguing because they changed the top. And now that, you know, it's not so, well, it's still melting. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and cut a piece off. Ooh, cut a little bit too much chocolate off there, but. Now you can try to see the center there. They call it uh, peanut butter cookie dough, which uh, looks like cookie dough. So yeah, let's try it out. Yeah, that does have like a peanut butter cookie dough flavor to it. It's not excessively different from Buckeye Brownie. Other than the fact that it doesn't get stuck to rid of your mouth. Like, even with it being melted peanut butter, it is getting a little bit stuck. But since it's melty, it's not really. I still think it's a really good cookie. Very basic, very simple. And I can't, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put love towards it like I put with Buckeye Brownie because it's got that added rich chocolate on the top that adds another flavor profile. This is pretty much just peanut butter brownie and maybe some henna cookie dough flavor. Um, still a very enjoyable cookie. Still worth your money. And I do prefer it over the berry cobbler just because you, know, you don't have that cream cheese. But I'm not going to overhype it. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. That's what I like to give really, really good cookies that have hit their ceiling. Um, that are simple, but you know they're just right. They're just right. They're, and, you know, an eight... I feel like you could still make improvements. Eight and a half, I think it's simple, but there's no improvements to be made whatsoever um, a lot of times. And then there are some cookies where I give an eight and a half where there could be slight improvements, but I don't say it's required. Um, so yeah, confetti, confetti cake, this one's always going to be the same. It's never going to change. It's always, just, it's always just going to taste like cream cheese and a sugar cookie. Now, I don't remember if they say cake batter flavors in there. Um, that I don't particularly keep track of, but it always mostly just tastes like cream cheese 
and sugar cookie. Now this one looks moist. Usually it's a little bit crispier or dry, but let's try it. Yeah, I think I taste some cake batter in there. But I mean, it's just a rich sugar cookie with cream cheese for the most part. And there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people are gonna love that cookie. I think it's simple, it's straightforward. Um, I think Suzanne feel like giving that a seven and a half, just cause it's really good, but it's also really basic. Um, it's not amazing, it's not great. Uh, and it's, it's just a sugar cookie with cream cheese and maybe some birthday cake flavor there. But uh, you know, cream cheese can override a lot of things. You gotta, you gotta put it with the right thing. Red velvet, carrot cake, right thing. Sugar cookie, yeah, I think that makes sense. If you make a sugar cookie that you know, really emphasizes on that, that, that makes sense. So yeah, I went a little farther, a little, went a little longer for four cookies, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it off there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Hopefully you leave a like, comment, and a subscribe. Again, giveaway's over, but I appreciate everyone that participated. Really fun, and uh, hopefully more giveaways in the future. Uh, again, I forgot to shout out to Crumble at the beginning of the video, but it's a big thanks to them. Uh, they gave me the party pack to share. So all because of them, this giveaway was possible. Um, but anyways, that's the review. I'm sticking to it and I'll see y'all around.